Hey everyone, so uh, let me uh, tell you how this statement of purpose is to be made for uh, application into different IITs and educational institutes. Recently, IIT, uh, I think Tirupati has come out with one format. They have given one format of statement of purpose, how it is to be written and what should be written in that. So uh, let me first briefly tell you about that particular format which they have shared and I think that we can follow in other writing SOP in other institutes also because we have to write SOP many places uh, in coming days. So you should know how it is to be written. So let me share on uh, uh, this uh, format uh, on my screen. Maybe it is visible to you now. So uh, when you are to write a statement of purpose, make sure that uh, first of all, uh, statement of purpose is to be written and then the department for which you are writing that is to be written here, that how it is to be written that I will discuss. But what should be the most important point that you should note in this particular case? Uh, you are to introduce yourself in the first paragraph. You have to tell who you are. So I am Vijendra Singh, and I have graduated in mechanical engineering department from this institute. And uh, uh, from since childhood, I was interested in physics and uh, uh, the mechanics part of physics. Eventually, this led me to pursue mechanical engineering. I studied many subjects in mechanical engineering, out of which my favorite subjects was manufacturing and production. Then I started learning more about recent updates in manufacturing, like rapid prototyping and additive manufacturing. Uh, I decided to pursue my career in that particular domain, but my knowledge of additive manufacturing was very limited, and hence I decided to pursue my master's from in additive manufacturing from prestigious IIT Hyderabad. So that has to be, you know, first paragraph. What motivated you to choose career in research and not only research that is asking about MS or MTech program or PhD. So I am motivated to uh, go for research because I want to get specialized because my knowledge as of in additive manufacturing is very limited. And if I want to do industrial job, don't don't think that MTech MS means uh, research or teaching or something. It means industrial job. So uh, I decided to go for MS or MTech because I want to get specialized knowledge. I, I want to get the knowledge which makes me industry ready. Academic and research interest, I told you, my academic and research interest in uh, additive manufacturing. Before that, it was manufacturing. Do you have any specific research problem in mind? Yes, I want to use additive manufacturing to design the intricate uh, products which can be used eventually for decoration purpose. And I want to get into entrepreneurship in this particular domain once I have the understanding. So research problem, yes. That research problem you can think of by seeing the work which professors are doing. That is very, very important. This point is very important. Do you have any prior research experience? Yes, in my BTEC project, I have done some research experience. I have done internship, I have done project. That can be research experience. Short term, long term career goals. Short term is to get specialized by joining master's program from some reputed academic institute. Long term goal is to become entrepreneur or do industrial job or become professor or in academics or something like that. So why did you apply for graduate studies at IIT Tirupati or any IIT? Because I saw the lab, additive manufacturing lab of IIT Tirupati and IIT Hyderabad. A very good research work is going on in that. Professor Sharma is doing wonderful work in additive manufacturing. His recent projects were this. So I need to praise IIT Tirupati and labs available there. Okay, so how uh, you looked at research profiles of faculty member working in your field of interest. So you need to see the faculty members in IIT Tirupati and what do you think? So that everything should be reflected in your research uh, SOP, right? Uh, there is no standard formula to write a good SOP, but yes, they have given you some kind of uh, this. Now, I think I want to share with you uh, the format which we need to uh, uh, basically follow. So let me share with you now uh, the sop of one of my students so uh, let me share it i take the liberty to share his uh, this uh, sop this is incorrect sop this is uh, basically not corrected one so how i can correct it number one this uh, statement of purpose this should be made uh, time new roman 14 and uh, you should not write underline here and then below that i should write ms let us say ms and uh, i'll say artificial intelligence and data science data science let us say data 
data science and then IIT Hyderabad. That should be written second line and third should be the name. Name should be Vijendra. That is how I can write and I should make it in the center the way I have made all the three in the center. And remember one thing, these two should not have any gap. Remove the, this gap between these two. And maybe you can make reduce it even to 10, uh, if not 12, and this is 14. So if it becomes very small, maybe you can increase it to 12 or something like that. It will be perfect. And entire document you are to adjust in the this left and right adjustment uh, alignment you have to do something like this. So statement of purpose, then the course, and then the name. That is what you have to write. There is no gap in between these two, and this is how it is to be done. Then you know you are to write in this why you want to and basically go for this particular field, data science and artificial intelligence. And if you find some very very important words, and yes, one more thing, this entire thing should be font twelve. So I have written it font. Uh, 14 but this entire thing should be in the font 12 so this one statement of purpose is uh, even if you want to underline it it is not a problem some students underline it that also looks good so statement of purpose then these things should be written and then entire thing should be 12 whatever you find is to be highlighted that you can do and then i was always fascinated by machines this should also be merged with first paragraph so you started with some philosophical lines, whatever philosophical line you want to write that can be made italic. And this uh, Jeff Bezos says uh, something and he's a founder of Amazon. Everybody knows. So you may not need to write it. You can avoid it. So this is your first, uh, you know, uh, this becomes and you need not to write this also. So this is your first line. Now, I, I was always fascinated by topics like machine learning, deep learning, logic, computer, this, and I always wondered how things work. During my graduation, I did a project. Now, this should project should be second line. This should be the second line and uh, project, uh, whatever project you have done, that should be made uh, in the bold. That is a project. Data can be predicted every day. This thing, artificial intelligence, motivates society, and making only this, everything can be done. Right, so this is your praising this and uh, artificial intelligence. So maybe uh, this can be made one paragraph. And IT Bombay is the most uh, uh, prestigious, not famous, this most prestigious institute in our country. And uh, this institute is well known for its research work in artificial intelligence. Joint will take a career to new, will certainly help me to, may, to pursue a career on research. That is what you should write. And labs in IIT Bombay, now this student has not mentioned any particular lab. Uh, the labs in IIT Bombay, various labs in Bombay provide world-class and state-of-art machines. So maybe you can mention some of the labs here. Uh, so that is the reason I want to join. In this, this is the most important paragraph in which you have to mention about the work done by the professors in that particular lab. So this is what you have not done. So let me tell you the content I'm not talking about here. First paragraph, why you want to go for higher education and all, what is your background? Then the second is your project and internship. Third is why you want IIT, what work IIT Bombay is doing. And the most important thing in statement of purpose is if you can think of some research work which you want to do. That is how it is to be done. Most of the students are making this common mistake, but SOP is a very standard format. You should write it. And if you want to seek the services of the mentors of Purepedia, you can, you are most welcome. You can always hit us. Thank you. All the very best and keep on sharing more SOPs with you. Thank you.